Well, the workshop has been rebuilt. So I guess it's time to get on with some more electronics. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. So, what are we going to do today in Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop? Well, I thought I'd experiment and try to make the world's simplest tape recorder. Also, have you noticed something? The camera isn't swinging anymore. I might finally fi um, fix that tripod. So, this is the basics of my design. Pay no attention to that. That's one part for one of my cartoons that I'm doing. But, yeah, it would also help if this was the right way around. What I thought of doing is getting a 9 volt battery, a microphone, and a tape head, connect them all in series, and see if it will work. Now, obviously this isn't going to work with just any microphone. We're going to need a very special microphone. A carbon granule microphone, such as this one. Also, we're going to need some kind of tape deck. This will do. And last but not least, a battery, as we say. So, I just need to wire this lot up and see if it works. Now, you might be wondering about biasing and equalization and stuff like that. Well, this circuit is inherently going to put DC bias into the recording. And also, we don't really need to worry about tape equalization. I mean, we're recording from a carbon granule microphone, so it's not going to sound good anyway. All right, then, we're all wired up and ready to go. Also, the more tape savvy of you might know that this isn't going to erase because there is no erase feature. Because why would it? I mean, it's only a player, so why would you need an erase feature? So we need a fresh tape, such as this one. Oh, yes. Opening a fresh tape on camera. Avoiding the obvious easy open feature thingy, whatever you want to call it. And of course there's someone at the door, well she'll have to go and get that because I'm too busy up here. Alright, we've got a fresh tape. Let's just stick that in. Making sure it's in the right way and hopefully it won't fall out while we're doing this experiment. So, we're all ready. I will start this, put it into play, which will make it record. Got the microphone here. Okay, let's see if this works. I am talking into the carbon microphone that is connected in series with a 9 volt battery and the tape head to see if this is going to make a recording or not. I have absolutely no idea if anything is getting recorded onto the tape. So, I'm going to stop and let's play this back and see if anything happened. Well, there is something there. It's very faint, but it did record something. So, next step is to try different voltages and uh, see what works best. I'm not going to go any higher than 12 volts, but I've got a nice variable voltage power supply, so if we're applying too much or too little, we can fix that. So I'm going to experiment with different voltages and see which gives us the best recording. Okay, well, I think I'm going to have to call this a bit of a fail. So, I tried powering this circuit up from my power supply, trying various different voltages, and although I was able to get a nice, strong and intelligible recording on the tape, Unfortunately, due to the nature of this microphone, its resistance just keeps drifting. Sometimes it can be as low as 3 kilo ohms, other times it can be as high as 10 kilo ohms, so it's impossible to get the bias just right. So, the Walkman is back together. 
And, um, yeah, here's some test recordings. Okay, so we're testing again with the carbon running microphone. So this is 1.4 volts. We're now going to go up to 1.5 volts when I can get it. Okay, we're at 1.5 volts. Now we're going to 1.6 volts. If I can just get it there, really twitchy. Yeah, the power supply okay, is very twitchy with it. I'm trying to get the voltages. Yeah, you could see it seemed to work better at the low voltages there, but yeah, that was just basically a proof of concept kind of thing. So, anyway, in the next video, I'm going to try and make a much better AC bias tape recorder. So, I'll see you in that video, and until next time, goodbye. Okay, we're going to try this again, because me being the idiot that I am, I put the tape in the wrong way. And so here's a recording, a 1.3 volt. Let's see what it does. Oh. Here we are at 2.5. Okay, so we're testing again with the carbon granule microphone. So this is 1.4 volts. We're now going to go up to 1.5 volts when I can get it. Okay, we're at 1.5 volts. Now we're going to 1.6 volts. If I could just get it there, it's really twitchy. Okay, this is 1.6 volts. So I want to be more precise at 1.6. Okay, well, it seems to work much better at a low voltage. So I am putting 1.4 volts into the circuit, feeding right up to the microphone, and hopefully this is making a recording onto the tape that is intelligible when I play it back. This is probably the very boring. Yeah.